Hey guys, Bada Bing here. In conjunction with my UAC aluminium bolt carrier review for the TM M4 NWS, I'm bringing you a how-to guide on setting it up for the first time, including an original Maruri bolt takedown. So let's get started. You'll need some tools for this, obviously. A set of Allen keys, small Phillips and flathead screwdrivers, and perhaps even some needle nose pliers. I'll begin by removing the carrier extension now, Tokyo Maru use some kind of Loctite on the grub screw to hold the extension in place. It may help to apply a little heat to remove it. What I did was leave the carrier inside the upper receiver for this, as it's an awkward part to get any decent leverage on. With this removed, you can take off the rear bearing. All it takes is to flick out the retaining pin with small flathead screwdriver, and it comes off easily. Set those aside, and we can now focus on the gas key. Now, use a Phillips to remove these screws. I myself have a handy electric screwdriver, just because. With these removed, you can now slide your gas key slash nozzle guide height. Be careful to retain a little spring housed within. After this is removed, you can now remove the nozzle spring retaining block. For this, I'll use a flathead screwdriver to pry it free. That part out of the way, the nozzle should slide straight out. That's the necessary parts removed to swap over to your new carrier. All you have to do now is just reverse this process. Now, there's two fiddly bits that could potentially anger you right to your very core, one of which is the nozzle spring retainer block. Use a small tool, or similar to this Allen key, to hold the nozzle spring locking pin out from its port while you slide into position the retainer. If you've got chubby fingers, ask an eight-year-old to help you. If that's gone to plan, your nozzle should be bungeed to your carrier. Perfect. Now the second fiddly bit. Slide your nozzle guide into place and inserting the spring. I found if you seat the guide plate in its original position and carefully feed the spring through the hole at the top, you can use a thin tool like this to contract the spring just enough to slide it back onto its pin. And then finish that up by reinstalling those original two screws. If you've come this far, congratulations, you're nearly done. Remember that roller bearing you removed earlier? Cool. Throw it back into its recess, followed by its pin. Round nose pointed towards the direction of the nozzle. And there we go. All that's left to do, really, is screw on your new bolt extension. Following this, you're probably going to do a final check to ensure the nozzle slides freely in and out of the carrier and you, my friend, are done. I hope you found this guide useful, and if you did, feel free to hit the like and subscribe. Any questions, you can leave them downstairs or shoot me a message via Facebook, facebook.com forward slash pictures. And until next time, I'll catch you later.